In this video, let's see about type errors. So what I mean by type errors is certain functions expect the parameters to be of some type. If you don't pass that type, you are going to get some error that is called type error. And also in some cases, certain operations cannot be performed on certain types. So we'll see with examples what, what I mean to say. Let us say I want to find out the length of the number 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is a number. Now, what you might think is, since 1, 2, 3, 4 has 4 characters, you might think that the output of this uh, print function will be 4, but it is not so. Mm -hmm. Let's let's try to run it and see. Now you can check it. It is saying that object of type int has no length, which means it is an integer and it does not have support for length function, which means to length function, you cannot pass a argument as a integer so integer is not supported but other types are supported we will see that later now let us say let us do one more thing now let us say we want to read a name from the terminal and we want to print the length of the name okay it is a string so it is supported now if you observe it input which means we are trying to read from the terminal a name whatever is typed at the terminal and then length of the terminal, length of the name is found out and after that it is assigned to num, num car. Okay. So after that, I, I what I want to do is I want to say that your number has this num car number of characters. Okay. Put this in the code several words. So what we want to say here is your name has these many characters, okay? So if you clearly observe it, if you carefully observe it, this is a string, your name has a string and characters is a string. But what is num char, number of characters? Here number of characters is an integer and you are trying to apply a concatenation here. Even your compiler is giving you a low, a low squiggly lines, a warning here, okay? So if you if you hover on it, it will show you the error also. What is the error? But anyway, we will just simply see this. So something it is, it is showing you something so known as unexpected type. It is a type error. But let's run it and see. We will get a clear error message. Enter your name. So let us enter some name here. Now you can see that there is a type error. And it is also showing where the type error is. The type error is at numcat. And it is saying that type error can only concatenate str not int, which means it can only concatenate str not int. Hi, now that you have got the type error, we can do some type casting and convert an integer into a string and we use it. Okay, let's see how to do that. So numcat is an integer. Now we are converting this numcar into a string by using a function called str. Now str is a function. If you pass some data type into it, it is going to convert it into a string. Similarly, int is a function, float is a function where you can do type casting. Okay. Now I have converted this numcar, which is an integer, into a string and I'm storing it into a new variable called new numcar. Now new numcar is a string. Okay. So if you want to check that, we'll just use it here in the concatenation. Here I have replaced numcar with new numcar and let's run it and see. Got it? So now your name has three characters is printed. So one thing that I want to show you is you can check the type of new numcar using type operator okay, or a type function. So there is a function called type in Python, which is predefined using which you can check the type of any uh, variable. For example, here, a is a variable, a, a is having a value 10. Now I'm going to see the type of a. Now if I run it, you can see that the type of a is integer. Now if I do type casting to 10 and convert it into a float, let's see that. Float is a function which is used for typecasting, which is built in. 
Now, if you run the program and see what is the type of A, it will show that it is a float. Got it? Now, str is a function. So, you have seen how to convert uh, a number into a string. Now, let us try to convert. Uh, now, sorry, a, you have seen how to convert a number into a string by using type casting. Now, let us try to do it on two numbers and do concatenation of it. Okay? I am taking two numbers, 100 and 200 and I am just applying a str on 100 and 200 so that 100 and 200 are actually converted into a string. Now, if I run it, it is going to show 100 followed by 200, 100 followed by 200. It is not doing normal addition. It is converting, it is uh, taking both of them as, uh, you know, strings. Got it?